Right now, Pinellas County leaders are demanding something be done about the Reddington Long Pier. They claim it's a safety hazard. They want the owner to either fix it or tear it down. News Gen Late's Jamel and A joins us live from Reddington Shores Beach, where I guess the damage is evident, huh, Jamel? Oh, good afternoon. Yeah, we'll go ahead and pan the camera right over here. You can see that hole right there missing on the pier. Uh, that part of the pier apparently fell in the water. Um, the officials tell us that happened after a previous storm. Now, in court documents found last month, county leaders claim the owner has was ordered to close the pier and not reopen it until the repairs were made. Now, county officials claim to date the pier does not meet Florida building code requirements. They claim there are still safety and navigational concerns for the pier to either fall in, onto the beach or into the water. And the ongoing inaction violates Pinellas County Code. Now, owner Tony Antonius tells me he bought the pier about 18 years ago to save it then. He closed it voluntarily in February. The 72-year-old says he's tried to fix the pier over the years but has now run into debt and he can't do it any longer. He says he knows the pier is unsafe and has fought with town officials to get the parking lot rezoned so he can sell the land, but he claims they won't work with him. The only way to save the pier is somebody buy the whole thing, the land and the pier, develop the land and he will have cash flow to save the pier. Yeah. And we got plenty of those opportunity and City Hall don't show interest. Now, the county cannot comment because of litigation. Antonia says state officials are expected here tomorrow. Now, he claims that he's already worked out some sort of an agreement with the state for them to start the process of tearing it down unless somebody steps up and puts up the money to help save the pier. In Reddington Shores, Jamel and A, News Channel 8.